Crime shows like CSI and NCIS give a futuristic, if somewhat unrealistic, look at the world of forensics. But now a team of researchers is working on a real-life crime-solving technique. Uh, it's been something that's been tried for 30 or 40 years. And it could outperform even the best fictional sleuth. Investigators have long relied on fingerprints to solve cases. The whirls, loops, and arches of a print are unique to every person on the planet and can help pin down a particular criminal. But determining how long a fingerprint has been at a crime scene is still a major challenge. One Shin Miramoto and Ed Sisko at the National Institute of Standards and Technology are trying to solve. Their research appears in Analytical Chemistry, a journal of the American Chemical Society. They're using a highly sensitive mass spectrometry technique to map the chemical composition of a fingerprint. When you put down a fingerprint initially, most of your material is confined to the fingerprint ridge. And as it ages, it'll move out of the ridge into the valley. And by monitoring which compounds are diffusing, how fast they're diffusing, we're going to try to tie that back into how old a fingerprint is. Their published findings deal with prints that are about four days old. But Cisco says they're continuing to track samples much longer than that. There's definitely significantly visible changes between the first week, the first month, three months, six months. Cisco says the samples are being tracked under ideal lab conditions, but future research will focus on fingerprints in a variety of settings. And once we see it's feasible, then we'll move on to um, more realistic and dirty and different exposures. A move that could bring the CSIs of the TV world closer to crime-fighting reality. Want more videos about forensic science? Give us a like to let us know. And be sure to subscribe to learn more about the latest research from American Chemical Society publications.